All right, my black Buick Encore is sitting out here in the sun on a 90 degree day and it is a furnace inside. So I'm gonna see if I can cool it off with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here in the summer and it is hot. It's hot, the sun is beating down. It's actually like afternoon, it's three o'clock or something and it's still hot, sweltering. It's kind of humid. That doesn't necessarily mean it's humid in the car, but as you can see, I've got this big windshield here and it acts like a greenhouse. And I have used those solar reflectors, those panel, you know, the fold up things that you would block the sun with. But I have tried in the past this type of reflector to block the sun because they work and it's kind of like an umbrella it opens up and then you can put it in the windshield and what i love about this is how small it is it's like one of these portable travelable umbrellas and so it's very small you can have this bar near in your glove box or the center console where the panel ones are actually quite big now I have tried some of those in the past and really liked them, but this is supposed to be a new and improved for this year, which is kind of just like me. And so I thought, hmm, let's see if there's any difference and see how it fits my Buick Encore. Let's check it out. All right, so first things first, it comes in this nugahide little sleeve here. So kind of got that, it's nice that there's a little place for it. And as you can see, we have a little plastic handle down there, matte finish. You can see that it has a nice little Velcro strap around it to keep it tight. We even have a tiny little lanyard. I can't put my wrist through there, but I can put a few of my big fingers. And there is a dark side, a black side, and then a silver side. And so I think we are going to always have that silver side out as we deploy this guy. That's where it should go. I'm not sure exactly what makes this new and improved, but if I rotate it around, looks like we have a little button right there. So if I press that and pull it, didn't need two hands there, but I had to use my thumb to flush that out there. Doesn't want to spring open like an umbrella. So it's not like spring loaded, which is good because you don't want this thing necessarily flying open in the car and jamming you in the neck like I would with my shank. But all right, here's what we got here. So this thing is pretty big. I know they come in a variety of sizes, but I'm trying to hold it away here so that you can see it. It's very big it should work very well i'm just looking around the edges here it's, it's all pretty uniform i would say this portion right up here seems to splay out just a little bit more you know you can kind of see there's like a little extra hanging off that side so i guess maybe you know depending on which side is a little wider your bottom side of your windshield might be a little wider it can go in like that and then if i push this all the way open you can see there's a little detent there so it'll snap in there and then this thing will hold its shape but obviously when you're putting it in you might want it like this now one thing i will say here is that there isn't a cutout for the mirror. I think what I want to do is put it, you know, behind the mirror or in front of it, depending on where you're looking at it, so that the mirror kind of holds this in place. So let's try it. All right. I'm in my car. Oh my gosh. This thing is so hot. I'm dying. So something like this. Hopefully we'll just make it a little bit more tolerable when you're jumping in here. And so I am just kind of pushing this and you can see where my mirror is there. And I want to get it under there as I am deploying this guy, I'm trying to do this all one handed. And I don't think I'm going to succeed at that. So I'm just going to kind of push it out with my other hand here. All right, and so I went ahead and clipped it in there. You can see how the handle hangs down here. It's actually not touching anything, so it's not braced against my dashboard or anything like that, which is kind of nice. And then what I can do here is just kind of move things if I needed to, just to kind of tuck them in. I don't know that I would spend a lot of time on this. You probably don't want gaps here, but it's a little harder. The little fish bones here, you can kind of push into place. But, you know, you don't want big gaps where the light's leaking in, but it is a little bit flexible. So there I've got pretty good coverage. And what I just like about this, again, is that now when I get in the car, hopefully a lot of that light is blocked. It's going to preserve your dash, right? Dashes get cracked, especially if you're parking outside. Maybe you live in a hot climate like Tucson or Phoenix all the time and the sun is just beating down on that thing. But what I love is that on the outside here, now we have most of this windshield cover. And what I also love is that now when I collapse this thing, it's only gonna be the size of a travel umbrella. So I can throw that in my car and I don't have to worry about you know, a big fold up panel that I have to put somewhere. So if you want this umbrella sun blocker for your car, the new generation of it, 
I'll put a link to it in the description below, Peter Von Banda. Out.